Hey guys, so day two of the water fasting challenge. I woke up nice and clear this morning, electrolytes and mineral salts, and then I'm gonna put a scoop of perfect aminos in there. Remember, that does not break a fast. It's all nine of the essential amino acids. So neither the perfect amino, the electrolytes of the Baja Gold Salt or the H2 tab will break a fast. Doesn't he say this is supposed to be a water only fast? So how does perfect aminos not break a fast? So by definition, perfect aminos or essential amino acids do break a fast. They do so for a couple of reasons. When you take essential amino acids, some of those essential amino acids go through your portal circulation into your liver and through a process called gluconeogenesis, turn into glucose, which causes a mild insulin rise. It won't be as big of an insulin spike as a full meal, but it does cause an insulin rise. Also, there's leucine in your essential amino acids, which goes and activates the mTOR pathway in your muscles. The mTOR pathway is the opposite of the AMPK pathway, which is what we want to activate in a fast. That's actually one of the whole points of fasting is activating the AMPK pathway, which is a scavenger pathway. It's a way for our body to activate autophagy. In other words, it's a way for our body to then break down damaged or old organelles and cellular components into energy. And it's one of the ways that fasting is so anti-aging because then we regenerate and create new of those cellular structures. So by definition, taking essential amino acids breaks your fast because of the gluconeogenesis, because of the insulin increase, because of the mTOR activation and it's just really just not a fast. I don't know why he's calling it a water only fast and keeps saying that perfect amino acids don't break your fast. Honestly, perfect amino acids are good for you. It's good for your muscles. It prevents catabolism, it prevents breakdown of muscles. It's just not a fast. I would call it something else. I would say it's an odd morning ritual or if that's all you're having for the day, I would say it's a calorie restricted day, but it's from the moment you take the perfect aminos, it is no longer a fast. People need to understand that if they're trying to fast for the longevity benefits of the AMPK pathway, by definition, this is not fasting. Sorry, I hate to break it to you, Brecca, but it's not a fast.